What's up guys, it's Derek with Euro Superbike Life, back with a very special episode for you guys. Today we're showing the four wheel community a little bit of love. So a few years ago, for my birthday, my beautiful wife Jennifer purchased me a driving package from Dream Rides in Las Vegas, where I had an opportunity to drive a full spec, a full race spec, I should say, Ferrari F430 GT around Las Vegas Motor Speedway for a dozen or so laps or whatever. Um, I had a blast, and I figured I'd share that with you guys to see if you like it. So uh, the first four minutes-ish of this video is a promo for the car. You get to see uh, the exterior of the car and all its specs and so forth and so on. I'm including that because the driving footage uh, that Dream Ride shot is from within the vehicle, and you don't get to see the exterior of the car at all. So uh, in fact, it's kind of um, it's kind of dark, and you don't actually get to see the inside very much at all either. So wanted you guys to see the car. Wanted you to see the, uh, have an idea what the specs were and so forth. So, without further ado, here's the video. We'd like to introduce you to your car. The racing Ferrari F430 GTDR isn't like anything you will have ever driven on the road, even if you regularly drive GTs and supercars. This car is bred for the track. It's a whole different thing. Aerodynamics. The most obvious difference between the Ferrari F430 GT and its road-going cousins is the aerodynamic bodywork. The large rear wing is designed to deliver more downforce. Underneath the nose is a chin splitter, and at the rear, a diffuser. These pull the car down to the tarmac by creating a pressure differential. Taken all together, these modifications provide a huge amount of downforce, increasing with speed, and in turn generating more grip. While aerodynamic grip is generated by the bodywork, mechanical grip comes from the tires. These are constructed to deliver maximum performance rather than longevity and only work when warm. A good temperature range for these tires is 160 degrees Fahrenheit to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's important to warm them up when leaving the pits before starting to push hard. Compared to a road car, our F430 GTs have a wider track and a much lower and stiffer, featuring racing specification springs, dampers, and anti-roll bars. Added all together, it makes for a huge increase in stability, though it wouldn't make the car ideal to be driven down the strip. Brakes. The racing brake discs and pads will impress you with their stopping power. More responsive and capable of operating consistently at very high temperature, they are designed to deliver heavy-duty performance. Without the brake fade, road cars suffer when pushed beyond their regular operating window. In common with road cars, however, our systems are integrated with ABS to maximize safety in emergency situations. Engine and gearbox. The heart of every Ferrari is the engine. But even among these thoroughbreds, the race-prepared power plants in the F430 GT stand out. They feature bespoke racing air intakes and exhausts and are fitted with an ECU that makes the car very responsive to the gas pedal, while also increasing drivability. You'll understand that a little bit more the moment you flip the ignition switch and press the start button. The V8 engine is mated to a sequential transmission which, at the other end of the powertrain, feeds into a dedicated differential tasked to optimize traction. It's used in conjunction with electronic traction control to help prevent wheel spin and make sure all that power is channeled to where it needs to be. All of this is contained within dimensions that make our cars, aero pack aside, look almost identical to the equivalent model you might see on the road. Don't be fooled. Our cars are constructed from composite materials and weigh a lot less than you would think. A lighter car is, of course, a faster car. But shedding weight also makes our cars more responsive to the inputs of the driver. In fact, all of these advanced technologies are subordinated to the driver once the car is in motion. The driver is by far the most important component. For a professional racing driver, 
the ultimate race car is the one he barely notices beneath him. The F430 GT's superior construction, advanced electronics, and precision mechanical components are all there to make sure nothing gets in between the driver and the road. The basic inputs are the same as for a road car, but many of the barriers are stripped away. A racing car is direct. It does what you ask it to do, and it does it immediately.
So what'd you think? Was I driving like a Mary? <laughs> Did you like the video? I know, I, when I watch the videos back, I, it looks like I'm driving super, super slow. And to be fair, the first couple of laps of the first session, I really was. I wasn't exactly sure what to expect, so I was taking it kind of easy. But in the second session, I definitely got into it. But for whatever reason, when you watch the video back, it still looks like I'm driving fairly slow. But I guarantee you, I was on it. And when you sit behind the wheel of a full spec race car, 600 plus horsepower with the driving instructor sitting next to you, talking about upshift, downshift, turn in here, brake here. All your senses are going, everything is clicking. You got a big grin on your face and it feels like you're doing 250 miles an hour the entire time. So it was an absolute blast. If you ever have the opportunity to do something like this, please look up Dream Rides. It was a fantastic experience. I highly recommend them. Again, they have Ferraris, Lambos, Porsches, GTs, uh, full race spec vehicles to street spec vehicles. You can drive one or two laps or you can spend all day driving them. It just depends on how much money you want to blow up in Vegas. Um, but nevertheless, that's a wrap for this episode. If you like this video, please click the like link and subscribe. But until next time, ride safe, or in this case, drive safe. I'm Derek, this is Euro Superbike Life. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye now.